Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today we will be reviewing a couple figures I got from Salvation Army, plus something from Marvel, Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet. But first, we're going to look at the Rogue One packaging. Here we got the Rebel with the Rapid Fire Gun. I can't remember his name. If you know his name and can pronounce it, leave me a comment. And we even got a Commander Stormtrooper. I always love getting these dudes. He even comes with a missile packed at fires. And now we're going to look at the back of the packaging. We got a bio, if you wish to read it. If I can make it clearly out for you. Sometimes with camera tricks, it's always tricky. Can you see it now? Good, I can see it clearly. And you even get options for the app that is advertised on the packaging. And this was made by Hasbro. And Disney. Ain't that wonderful? That's all there is to say for the packaging. We're going to look at our Rebel. And he's holding a rapid fire gun, ready to go pew pew, bang bang with it. But he does have a weapon option with the other missile weapon. Just going to over his shoulder. He can get him sort of grass in it, and he can go, Missiles away! Pew, pew. That was my missile sound. But I'm probably not going to display him with this. This is probably going to go back in the box. Now I'm going to give him his main gun. He doesn't have much posability. His legs can go out that far. Arms can go that far. The head is on a turning joint. That's all the articulation this figure has. So that's all there is to say for him. So let's look at our Imperial off Imperial Stormtrooper. And this is like a commander one. If you know how to pronounce these commander class stormtroopers, leave me a comment. Here he is next to Black Series Commander. That's what I'm going to call these. Commander. And here he is with another Commander. I think this is a regular regular Star Wars Stormtrooper. They look okay together. And another Stormtrooper comparison. Here he is next to the another Stormtrooper of the exact same pauldron type. And finally, because this is important, here he is next to an old school Stormtrooper I've had for a while. Yeah, not bad looking if I do say so myself. And finally, another old Stormtrooper I own compared with this one. Not bad if I do say so of a comparison. And this figure has the same articulation limit as the other figure, okay? They, they don't have ball joints, which is a shame, because they're older figures. They're new to me, but probably not new to you. But given I found these at Salvation Army for like five bucks, if I remember, they are worth getting for that much. And now we're going to look at our second piece. We got the Marble. The Thanos' Gauntlet from Marble Endgame. And the fingers aren't articulated, so all it can do is make noise and be display piece only. It only makes two noises. So that's all there is to say for this review. Probably wondering, where did I get the Thanos gauntlet? I got that from the Goodwill outlet. 
you can probably find it maybe maybe at a Goodwill or something for a good price if you're lucky. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.